That's my, that's my, that's my standing expression. For 20, oh, shh, mute. For 2023, doggone it, the light went out. You know, <clears throat> I was thinking today, we had a couple years there. Well, we had at least one year of the pandemic that you didn't really have to go anywhere. And I made the mistake of saying, boy, I love the pandemic because people were like, well, my husband died in the pandemic. I was like, well, of course, that's not the part I loved. I don't like people dying. But I do like, I did like the not having to go anywhere. Right? Maybe other people like to go places. I don't. Is it my, is it my age? What is it about myself that makes me so lazy? I mean, I just went up there and found this, and I know I was supposed to mail this to somebody. And did I mail it? No, sorry, Bobby, I did not. Nope. I just am, so I have a cold, which is bad, because when you have a cold and you're 47, you might as well be like 15 with mono. It's the same thing. You sound better than you did this morning. I did not sleep today. So I have on, I just want to show you what I have on so you feel good about yourself. I have on sweatpants, my slippers, my a la Kai slippers, my pajama shirt, and my fleece. Dessert, mommy. Who is that? Amos. Amos, what is today? It's Seattle Space. What state is Seattle then? Washington. Is that Washington, D.C. or Washington State? Washington State. That's right. Do you want to get the note? We were very confused, weren't we? When we I need the note. <laughs> when we went to D.C., we thought the Cetal Speece Needle was there. Seattle Space is really, really far away. It very far away. Like almost to Hawaii. You would like a dessert. Do you want a popsicle? An ice cream. Happy Valentine's Day from Seattle. Oh my gosh. Are you feeling better? I guess so. My husband brought home dinner for Valentine's. You want to see what it was? This is remnants of mozzarella sticks. This is remnants of Fruit Loops. And this is remnants of sausage cheese chicken. And this is remnants of, of salsa. Mm -hmm. It's a model of health around here. Where are y'all from? Well, I'm from Eastern North Carolina, from Rocky Mount, but I live in Edenton now. I need a bowl. bowl. I spy open cabinets. I mean, of course you do, because people don't close cabinets in here. Why would you close a cabinet? Because you might need to get back in there. Did y'all have a good Valentine's Day? Is the whole... So here's how I feel on Valentine's Day. I feel like either you're supposed to go out with your significant other, and if you don't, there's like this pressure that you're like about to be divorced or something. Do y'all feel like that? So I have this friend, and she's like, we eat with our kids every year. I'm like, you don't have to tell me. It's fine with me. So our tradition at our house which isn't every year, like this year, is that we go out the day after Valentine's Day. Because when my husband and I were dating, we were in graduate school, and we always had exams or something. Mm -hmm. And honestly, back then, um, you know, ain't nobody had any money. Let's just be honest about that. So it was a big deal to go out. So we were really excited because we never went out. Right? Does that make sense? So now we get takeout or something. I mean, we don't, it's not like we're like, okay, we're going to get it once a week. I mean, we shouldn't, but we do. 
Ah, uh ha. -huh. Uh, nice cream. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. For your ice cream. For your ice cream. Mm -hmm. So we used to go. It was kind of a big deal. Husby and I don't celebrate it. The kids buy the kids a little something. Well, I got my daughter a couple books because she likes books. And then she was like, whose candy is this? Where is it? She's stolen it. What well, was candy that Amos had given me for Valentine's Day? So then I pretended I got it for her. So pleased with myself. Hope you're feeling better. I know. I mean, I've had a cold. We make heart-shaped pizza. Well, that's nice. That's a nice thing to do for Valentine's Day. Mm. Thomas is downstairs watching the wolf pack. And I'm up here watching the David Muir. Someone told my husband. And what I bought myself for Valentine's Day was a bunch of markers. Mm -hmm. Because you know what I did today? Well, shoot, where is it? I worked on my calendar. Look at this. This thing is like a work of art. The calendar. The blasted freaking calendar. And in this calendar, like this is June. How can my June be that busy? June. I hate the calendar. The calendar is my nemesis because the calendar reminds me of all the things that I need to be doing that I don't feel like doing. Who wants to fight the crowds on Valentine's Day? I know, right? My husband can't stand David Muir. He says it's like the quickest way to get him out of the living room. <laughs> oh, Marla misses her mom today on Valentine's Day. Well, happy Valentine's Day, Marla. She made a big deal out of it. Your husband made steaks and gave you a 24-karat gold-dipped rose? What? Who, what is that? Boring. Feel unloved while everyone celebrates and we just sit here. Oh, well, that's not good. You visited your mom in rehab. Just got home. I like your clear glasses. Does Amos try to get out of the house? I mean, he likes to go places, but he doesn't escape when it's cold. I think the best Valentine's Day gift would be if my husband took the kids out to dinner. And then you just sat at home alone. Well, you know, you're speaking my love language because I had a wonderful weekend a few, it's been about a month ago. I know, Syracuse is playing right now. And um, I had a staycation, a full-on staycation. I stayed in this house by myself for three freaking days. And it was awesome. And I thought I was going to have another staycation in like two weeks. But now it seems that it's falling to pieces. So my daughter was going to go on like a youth EYC trip. And now I hear that that might not happen. And then I hear that my husband is supposed to go hog hunting. Have you ever heard of this thing called hog hunting? It's a horrible, horrible thing. But I love it because it means that he was going away for the weekend. And evidently the dog runner, the dog runner cannot hog hunt. So he's like, we're canceling. I was like, no, no, don't cancel. Surely you can find another man with some pit bulls to chase the hogs. Oh my God, the dog. You do not have to go to the bathroom. I know you don't. You've been out. I mean, this dog. <laughs> Where did Amos go on your staycation? Well, our caregiver took him to the beach for the weekend, which he loves to go to the beach. What? The evil poisonous witch. He will. He might turn everyone into a frog. He might turn everyone into a what? Frog. Frog. A frog. Hog hunting is dangerous. Well, you don't see me going. No. <laughs> the Christmas bulls. Mirror, mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall.
and they all and they all lived evil witchly ever after. The wit evil witch end. They talked about hog hunting in the Murdoch trial today. Well, I didn't watch the Murdoch trial today, but I just turned it on a minute ago and saw that Maggie Murdoch's sister testified today and said that Maggie had a good marriage. Maggie was happy, but then she said that she asked the husband, did he think that Maggie and Paul had suffered? And he said, no, he didn't. And she said, now I wonder, did he, did they suffer? And then she said, and then I'm concerned that um, after Paul died, Ellick was so busy trying to clear up Paul's name versus trying to find out who killed him. No, it's not felted, it's knit. I didn't know that. I did not know one darn thing. I know. But it makes sense because wouldn't you, like if your sister is murdered and your nephew, you can get yourself some water. Why does Amos make you repeat things? Well, Julie, if I knew I'd be a rich woman, I have no idea. I think it's called scripting. I need to know more about it. I'll have to ask the psychiatrist. I just do it. I don't know why. Does anybody know? It's, it's torturous. Now he's in there getting his own water. Which involves you no longer go hunting. I'm not... Yeah, I agree. If you want to eat what you hunt, I guess that's fine. My husband doesn't really like to kill things. He likes to go hunting because he enjoys, like, the camaraderie. But he just likes to go and hang out and watch games and stuff. Hi. More ice cream. More ice cream? You just had ice cream. More ice cream, Mommy. Well, I need your bowl. I got the most amazing Valentine's present. I mean, I had no idea. What is it? Oh, never mind. Mm. Well, here, bring it in the kitchen. More ice cream. Well, come on. Mommy, more ice cream because I'm just playing with little dino. Oh, yeah, I need ice cream. He is not spoiled. Amos, are you spoiled? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not like he has his own play gym downstairs. Well, would you like to talk about people being spoiled? And come over here a minute. What? Just come over here. I'm, I'm showing, I'm proving a point. Come here. What? Come over here and stand beside me. Okay, just stand here. Come here. Okay. This is my shirt. My shirt. <laughs> So today I went in her room and I took a picture of myself holding all my belongings that she has stolen from me. And it's a real problem. I mean, I was mad. You had my earrings. Hey. But, what do you mean, hey? <laughs> I didn't eat your, I, I did not eat your candy. I don't even like chocolates. You ate one of my candy. I did not. You know, daddy did. I did not eat your chocolate. <laughs> anyway, that's my chocolate. <laughs> you ate my chocolate. That was my chocolate. Mm. Amos gave me that chocolate. I just pretended to give it to you. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> but you gave it to me and then you ate it. I did not eat it. I, I'm not alive. That's like me being like, here's some coffee and then like drinking all your coffee. Well, that is what y'all do. Coffee? You would if you liked coffee. Uh-uh. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, ice cream, and then we're going to go up and brush our teethies and go night-night. Aren't we? And then 
The Seattle Space Needle. We could do that for your birthday. Yeah. Sissy might like to go. Might go where? To the Seattle Space Needle. No. Uh, Amos, you know what you want to do for your birthday? The tallest, the giant building in the galaxy space city. What is? <laughs> for your birthday, Amos, don't you want to stay home? Did you just ask if he wanted to stay home for his birthday? Yes, you do, Nan. Mm. Nan, you got unsubscribed? Oh, so annoying. Sorry. I don't know why that happens on Facebook. Yes, if you wanted to give yourself a Valentine's present, you could come subscribe over here. It's really fun. Wait until you both wear the same shoe size. We do. We do. And I'm like... Lord, please, Lord, let her foot keep growing. I want her foot to get just a teensy bit bigger than me. Did Big Thomas give something to me for Valentine's Day? He did. He got me a pair of tennis shoes. <laughs> and you bought and you ordered and you did everything to You bought them you picked them out. <laughs> you didn't really get them for you. You just paid for them. I'm going to give you a dress code, Missy. I'm going to wear a pair of these shoes. No, you're not wearing any shoes until we go to get your orthotics. Made. No, we want to make sure. Uh uh. You gave the kids sugar at school today. Ooh, I bet, Ashlyn. So today, Big Thomas went to PE with Amos. And I was going to go, and Big Thomas said, I'll go. I can go from court to the office. And it was really. I think he was very glad to see Daddy. Yay, Nan. Um, Amos, who came to see you at school today? Miss Brandy. Miss Brandy, that's your teacher. Who came to visit you at school? During who, PE. Who went to PE? Who'd you hit with a noodle? <gasps> Who'd you hit with a noodle at PE? Never. Who Who came there? Who came to see you? Driver. Daddy came? Were you glad to see him? Yes. Did he play in the gym? Yes. What did he do? He's doing fighting. He was doing fighting? Did he roar? Yes. He did. did he... <laughs> oh, did he chase Amos? Get out of my chair. Okay. Did he chase Amos? Yes. He did. Sissy is jealous. Daddy did not go see her at school, but guess who's going to see Sissy at school? <laughs> guess who? I don't like guess you. who? Mommy. Mommy is going to Sissy's school. Uh, no, on Thursday. What should I wear? My Christmas necklace? I think. <laughs> Come sit down and talk to me about your feelings, about why you don't want me to go to school. I'll be on my best behavior. Honor, do you want to go out to school and help serve the lunch? Oh, yes, you do. You'd be a good server. <laughs> You'd be so good at school. You could go look for Sissy in the class. Honor, come. Honor, come. No, she, do she doesn't go to people eat. that aren't her eat. handlers. Come no, on. she does not. No, she does not. Uh-uh. No, now you're trying to make her act bad. <laughs> Come. Thursday lunch. That's right. I'm taking barbecue out there Come and mac and cheese. Here. We're doing PTA lunch on Thursday. Oh, I can wear my short shorts. My quarter of an inch Lululemon shorts. Sissy, can I borrow some of your shorts? That's what I should do. I should wear her clothes out there. I could wear those blazes, blazers, what are they called? Honor, what's in your mouth? Uh-uh. 
She took my post-it notes. I was trying to get them, but you kept on trying to bug me. No, ma'am. These are my post-it notes. I could wear your shorts and your blazers and a crop top and a lot of jewelry and that white eye makeup under my eyes. Yeah, I tickle myself. <laughs> this is what happened. My raccoon hat. That's a good idea, Vicky. You know Vicky, don't you? <laughs> she left. The raccoon hat got her out of here. This is how you get rid of children. In that Rome shirt with the shorts. In a tank top. Now she's going down to she's going down to tattle on me to daddy. <laughs> she just said, Dad, can you turn turn off the She said, Dad, can you turn off the Wi Fi? Because I was talking about what I was gonna wear at her school on Thursday. And I said I was going to wear her shoes and her shorts and her blazers. So she has all your stuff? Yeah, I'm going to wear her stuff to school. And she, I just said she's going down there to wrap me out to daddy. She tells you to turn off the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Is state winning? No, they're not. Oh. Who do you think is going to win? You know, I feel like State looks like the better team so far, but, you know, they can, they can go cold for like 10 hours. Being a State fan is a real commitment in this household. They're Daisy Dukes. <laughs> oh, schmucket. Okay, subscribers. Let's go down and watch. We'll go watch basketball with Daddy. Cookies and cream lava? Really? Now oh, she's around. You going to play tennis? What? What have you bought? Where? Hang or orange juice. Let me see it. What does it say? It's just really thin, you know, like orange colored water. Hit me. Take it. Hit me now. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see it. What well, no, I mean, It says Tropicana. It. Trop 50. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> It's 50% less sugar. I was trying to get you healthy. It does kind of taste like tang. I, didn't even, I hadn't thought about tang in a while. Sissy, there's strawberries in here. Oh, Yelly. Carry on, people. If you need a nice, fun Valentine's gift for yourself, it's $5. Oh, no. You'll like it. Mm -hmm. We're going to go down and talk to my Valentine. <laughs>